Raider Nation, make sure that you get a Raiders face mask at chatsports.com slash Raiders mask. The mask that you see on screen right now, only $13.99. If you plan on leaving your house, chances are you're going to have to wear a mask. That one's for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. Also, this three-pack here, available for $17.99. So the two-pack and three-pack, both on sale. You can save $7 with both of those. The only way that you get the deal is by going to chatsports.com slash Raiders mask. Now, maybe you have those masks already. You can get this four-pack for $29.99. There's also solo face masks. And of every mask that I showed you, you already have, guess what? There's still more at that link that you see below. It's football season. I'm excited, and I hope you all are too. And I hope you're wearing one of those masks, maybe, to a bar, restaurant, watching one of these games. Speaking of bars and restaurants here, week one matchup, the Raiders at the Carolina Panthers. The spread on this one, Vegas. Favorites by three points. The over-under, 47 and a half points. So that tells me that they are disrespecting the Raiders' defense and Carolina Panthers' defense just a little bit. Luckily for you, yes, we can't go to the Carolina game. And, well, the Raiders, they're not going to have any home games as well. But I'm going to bring the party, I'm going to bring the game, and bring the bar right to your home. So Raiders watch party Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. I don't care that it's only noon here on Sunday. I'm going to have a beer. If you're over 21, crack open one with me. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be play-by-play. -play. We're going to be uh, chit-chatting, talking Raiders. So just like you would at a Raiders tailgate, that's what I'm going to be bringing to you all. So hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out. All right, let's get into this mailbag now. Dennis Jones, should we bring in Nigel Bradham for linebacker help? He's a proven starter. So Nigel Bradham is a player that I've talked about two or three times here on the Raiders Report. He's a player that definitely is going to be able to bring that extra element of uh, pass protection coverage. The reason why I don't see this happening is because all the reports right now out of camp are that Nicholas Morrow took an extra step and got better in pass coverage. So for me, when they went out and traded for Raekwon McMillan, run stopper, they're going to rely on Nicholas Morrow to be better in the passing game, help in the passing game. And now also you have Corey Littleton and Nick Kukowski. I wouldn't really pay too much attention to the linebacker group because from what it sounds like, it's going to be like 50-52 linebackers, Littleton and Kukowski. The other 50% is going to be mixed between 4-3 defenses with Morrow and with a guy like McMillan. Jacob T., what's up, my dude? Make sure that you're using hashtag Raiders or Super Chat to get your questions here on the show. Do we have a lot of confidence in Klee? Because I think he would have signed Clowney if we didn't. Do the Raiders have confidence in Klee McFurl? Yes. I mean, there is. But, and I'm going to say this, but, if you had as much confidence in Cleveland Furl as you thought you did when you drafted number four, you wouldn't try to move him to defensive tackle, right? What's the expression? If it's not broken, don't fix it. They're trying to fix Cleveland Furl because it was broken last year and it didn't work. Is he bulked up? Yes. Is he up to 275 pounds? Does he look better? Absolutely. The other reason why I don't think they went out and signed Clowney is because they didn't want to offer the money that Clowney wanted. And Clowney wanted to fit in a better, honestly, like 3-4 scheme which he's going to be able to do with the Tennessee Titans. So um, also by going out and getting Clowney, that means you have to admit that you failed on the signing of Carl Nassau. That means you have to admit on the drafting of Cleveland Furl. So uh, John and Mike are pretty, you know, confident guys, but I don't think they were ready to say that they failed on those moves yet. All right, Devin, get a picture. What's up, brother? What numbers do Arden Key have to put up to stay on this team? I would say Arden needs to play 16 games. That's the important number for Arden Key. He got banged up last year, and even the rookie was pretty inconsistent as well. If, if we can get him around seven sacks, playing like a Benson Mayoa type role where he comes in 30, 35% of the snaps, goes balls to the wall, NASCAR package, that would be what he needs to do. But if, if Arden can't show consistency and can't play 16 games, he will not be back next. Jay Dizzle, faux shizzle with one interesting picture of Tom. What if after this year we release Mariota and Tyra Williams and get Clowney and Ramsey? So in terms of releasing Mariota, I don't know the exact number, but it's actually not going to be too, too cheap to get rid of uh, Mariota. In terms of Tyra Williams, I've said it multiple times, Tyra Williams will never play another game in a Las Vegas Raiders uniform. It doesn't make any sense for them to keep him. You save $11.5 by moving on from him. 
and then going out and getting Cl Clowney and Ramsey, I would say this. If you ask me which one would I rather have, it would probably be Jalen Ramsey. However, if you go out and get Jalen Ramsey, that means Damon Arnett or Trayvon Mullen did not work. So if that's the other option, maybe Clowney would be a little bit smarter. All right, DK, what's up, my man? I saw you earlier saying that you wanted AB back. I'm a little bit concerned for you. Uh, I think that we should target Justin Fields next year or even Jamie Newman. What do you think, Mitch? So Jamie Newman, absolutely not. I, uh, I can't believe that he even went pro. I don't think that was the right decision that he made personally. In terms of Justin Fields, if, if Fields comes out in the draft, I'm a firm believer that he is no doubt top 10, probably even top five pick right now. So, with that being said, if you want to go out and get Fields, that's not very good. So, that means Derek Carr really, really struggled, and he's no longer on the team. And they probably lost week one. <laughs> so, who's the better quarterback here, Derek Carr or Teddy Bridgewater? Both going up week one. I can't wait for this football game. I'm uh, chomping at the bit. So, type C for Derek Carr, type T for Teddy Bridgewater. When I asked this question back in, I believe, March... The votes came in 80% Derek Carr. So I'm curious now that Teddy Bridgewater is the enemy, what y'all are going to have to say. And by no surprise, 100% of the votes right now are all for Derek Carr. So Justin Fields, though, that was a very, very interesting question. Maybe this is a more interesting question. Who wants 25 bucks? You know what? I know I do. So if you want $25, reply to my pinned tweet right now. It's on Twitter. At Mitchell Renz 365 if you don't have a Twitter, make one. It is going to be basically like first come, first serve, if you will. So what I want you to do, go to the pin tweet, reply to it. You can do it after the live show. You can do it right after you watch. I don't care. But I will say it is like a first come, first serve type of thing. So reply to the pin tweet for a chance to win 25 bucks. Derek Frazier, what's up, my brother? Panthers put Eli Apple on IR. Sad news. <laughs> yeah, I, uh. I was actually really looking forward to a Henry Ruggs roasting Eli Apple on multiple occasions. But now the Carolina Panthers are going to go, I believe, with a rookie, and they're going to be starting four rookies. If you want to talk about a defense that's just been totally flipped upside down, total Apple turnover, horrible joke, but I did it anyway. Uh, <laughs> they had 11 players on the defense last year that aren't going to be there this year. Or wait, no, 11 new faces on defense and including they're going to be without their best defensive player, Luke Keekly. So lost a lot of guys in free agency, got a new coach there. It's going to be a very, very different looking Carolina Panthers. TJR8R, get a picture. If the defense doesn't step up, how many will PG be the defensive coordinator? Right, so how many weeks will Paul Gunther be the defensive coordinator? Normally when teams make moves, it's after the bye week or, or during the bye week, if you will. And for the Raiders, they do have a pretty tough slate of first five games. Then after that bye week, you have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers week seven. I mean, if, if Paul Gunther doesn't get it done, I don't know if they'll make the move week six, but it wouldn't surprise me if at the end of the year, they start making cuts. I mean, one of the biggest reasons why, because they brought in Rod Marinelli, was for the easy transition of if Paul Gunther can't get it done, I know John Gruden has plenty of confidence in Rod Marinelli, who was on the staff with him back in 2002 when they won the Super Bowl to lead a defense. Buckner did a great job for this Raiders team last year. And I know a lot of y'all were upset when the Raiders, you know, basically let him go for Marinelli. But if Gunther doesn't get it done, yes, Rod's an easy transition. If you're asking me for a week, you know what? Let's go with week 13 because if the Raiders get blown out by the Jets again, yeah, something needs to change. Dale Webb Jr., Earl Thomas, or Eric Reed? Okay. Dale, you know what? I like this question a lot. So you know what? I'm going to ask you. ET for Earl Thomas or type ER for Eric Reed. Who's the better player? Who would you rather be repping silver and black? So this weigh-in, this question, is a little bit tricky because better player, it's Earl Thomas. But actually the player that I might actually prefer wearing silver and black might actually be Eric Reed. And I can't believe I'm about to say this because he is a lot less of a distraction than Earl Thomas. Now who's the better fit on defense? That's E.T. This is one. That one's really tough. So give me Earl Thomas or type E.R. Derek says E.R. Dale says E.R. David, King Higgins, and then Laker fan e are all typing E.T. Victor, with the most pink I've ever seen on this show. Do you think Carr will return to his old form and start throwing downfield more? 
now that he has rugs. I actually don't think it's so much to do with Derek Carr as much as the offense. I mean, John Gruden has been more or less a dink and dunk, get the ball out quick offense. Will he start throwing the football down feel more? I sure hope so. They definitely have the offensive pieces to do it. But Henry Ruggs, I mean, does he have speed? Yes, and a lot of people just consider him a deep threat. I mean, he is very good yards after the catch, very good underneath routes. So because of Ruggs only, no. But, I mean, will Derek start throwing the football down the field? He better. Marcus, all right, we'll stick with Marcus. Uh, talk about Gruden and his staff coaching this team. Are they going to generate some excitement? All right, so talk about Gruden and his coaching staff coaching this team. Are they going to generate some excitement? Again, they better. I mean, this offense can't come out and can't be predictable, right? I mean, how many times last year after a game did a Raider fan want to pull out his hair or, you know, want to, I don't know, maybe rip something else, um, where they were just frustrated with the play calling because it was boring. It got predictable. And this Raiders team would come out pretty fast, actually, a lot of the times. Raiders, I believe, scored were they scored most of their points in the first quarter and then basically did nothing in second or third quarter. I mean, you're looking at one of the worst teams coming out after halftime. Why? Teams adjusted. And if Gruden can't adjust his offense, they're going to struggle. So do we need excitement? Yes, absolutely. Devin, turn on your notifications. And everyone else watching, turn on your noties. Do the Raiders go out and make a big signing with Littleton converting his salary into a bonus, freeing up about $9 million? So this is a great question. Uh, the reason why I tell people to turn on their notifications is because I already did this once on the live show. And also, yes, it's on the Raiders report. So please go check it out. The video, five players that the Raiders could sign because Corey Littleton converted his uh, salary, freeing up, I believe, 8.2. And now the Raiders have $9 million in overall cash. All right, Raider Nation, what I want you all to do right now, make sure that you're staying safe, doing the right things, be responsible. If you see somebody without a mask, send them this link here, chatsports.com slash Raiders mask. Make sure you all are staying safe. If you want this two-pack here, that's a special deal I got going on right now, $13.99. You can save seven on that two-pack. You can also save $7 on this three-pack. It's only $17.99. Bottom line is this, do your part. I want to be able to go to Raiders games, and if you're going to leave your house anytime soon, you're going to have to wear a mask, so why not let it be a Raiders one? Street Disciple, do you think Gruden and Mayock are trying to build this, this decade's Legion of Boom? Okay. Uh, I'm going to say no, and the only reason why I'll say no is because the Legion of Boom was able to be built because Russell Wilson was still on his rookie contract. And they were able like, to just build around him. They also did very good in the draft during those few years. And also did get very, very lucky with uh, with Russell Wilson there. So I'll say no because Derek's not playing on a contract like Russell was. Liam, what's up? What are the chances we trade for a top cornerback on the trade block? If Damon Arnett and Trayvon Mullen don't play well, then yes, you could potentially see it. But until I see them struggle, I'm not going to wish this into existence. And if the Raiders do want to go out and get a top cornerback, Maybe go out and get a guy like Patrick Peterson, who, if the Cardinals don't play well, he'll probably uh, be a player that will be, be trying to get out. And then in terms of free agency, yeah, Jalen Ramsey, I, he'll be a free agent, so why, why would go out and trade for him? I don't know what this question is, but producer Brett's laughing at it. So with the move to Las Vegas, bigger market for NFL, I believe the refs will be more in our favor with calls on the field. NFL is an ugly league to make more money, something to think about. You know what, Jason? I actually made a thread on Twitter, at MitchellRens365, about all the horrible calls last year. You know what? I'm going to do the exact same thing this year. Hopefully it doesn't happen as often. But, yes, bigger market. Maybe uh, we'll get a few more calls going our way. Before I leave you all, I do want to give a shout-out to some of the people who followed me on Instagram recently. I do tell you all all the time, hey, hit me up. Let's talk Raiders. DM me a question in case I missed it. So shout-out to Girl Dad, uh, Cerna Kid, Chris Burns. Burns Red, and then Mark, and then Raider Fan Scooter. Shout out to all y'all. Much appreciated. I am getting ready to leave, so if you haven't already, give me a follow, and if I missed your question, hit me up on Instagram, at MitchellRen365. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video 
Thanks for watching, and go Raiders!